Hello, everybody. Welcome to round two. It's the back nine of the Green Mountain Championship here, presented by Upper Park Disc Golf and Discraft. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. I'm Madison Walker. We are at a very rainy, gloomy Brewster Ridge. A little windy, a little slippery, just like a lot of stuff happening. <laughs> very hard to play good golf out here. Yeah, it's chilly on the course, but we got two hot geese in the commentary. Honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again to GK Pro for the awesome FPO footage. Let's take a peek back on our front nine if you guys ha did not get a chance to watch it. Not a lot of birdies happening, but it was rough out there. Um, Brewster Ridge is playing pretty difficult today. And being under par is awesome. Yeah, it's definitely difficult to do. Hokum currently the only one doing it. A lot of people hovering around even or one or two over, which is going to end up being a good score out here. Yeah, minimizing mistakes is everything. Hole 10 is a 405 foot par three. It is very steeply downhill, which also means that it highlights the angle you release your disc on. It's really important here to make sure you're managing that because if you flip one, you can go right into the shul deep and it is mean over there. Early releasing is definitely the mistake you want to make. There's a lot more room over there. Also important on this hole is to just stop and take in the beauty of Vermont. <laughs> this is like the most scenic fairway I think we have out here. It was unbelievable. There was like clouds cresting the top of the mountain. You can see leaves changing colors. <laughs> Paige grip locks a bit and hits those right side trees, but those are pretty open as long as you don't get too deep. So uh, she's still in pretty good shape for a par. This is a hole that almost anyone can reach with the right shot, but it is still a distance shot and controlling a distance angle on downhill. So it's tough, but it is one that you feel like I can maybe get this. I can maybe yeah. find the screen. I uh, did the same thing as Paige. I think it's really easy to try to just crush one down there instead of letting it fly down there. <laughs> Also, these trees on the right-hand side that we can see Haley just barely miss as she hyzers out into no man's land, um, they're in the perfect area. They really do block the, ex the exact hyzer line you want to put it on, and it forces you to throw a flex. Let's see if Katrina can get the angle right here. Sounded like a bit of a slip. Yeah, definitely sliding around on this tee pad. No one in too much trouble. Mm -mm. Hoping with the only one with a chance at birdie. Oh, did Paige kind of pop back out a little bit? I thought she, she was deep in there. No, she traveled a ways. Okay. It's, it's not too bad on that right side if you stay in these kind of big orchard-looking trees. I don't know. Wait. Apples? <laughs> <laughs> with as fun as the tee shot is, it makes the approach pretty scary if you don't get very far down because it is steep downhill. So you really want to make sure you're letting your disc land softly. You can very easily go past this green. Yeah, even Katrina's was thrown pretty soft, but she still has, you know, a tiny bit of work left. Mm -hmm. It's hard to absolutely park this one. Haley making the mistake that you want to make and getting way down pin high. And then launching yeah, one. Yeah, goes to crush town. <laughs> yeah, it's a good tree hit to keep her close. Like I mean, she was definitely running it. Like I said in the front, she's disking down and throwing as hard as she can, and she just set a perfect <laughs> example of that. Looks like Hogum didn't have a great look at it, and she just lays up for par. Paige to save her par. Definitely a long tester putt. Looked like she had a tree to work with as well. There was only one birdie today. I, it That's, doesn't surprise me. No. You have to control the angle so I wanna well. I want to see more. I wanna, well, I feel, yeah. I feel like it's Duh. out there. Who got it? Maybe I need to lower my like realistic expectations because I feel like this is one that a lot of people could get. But at least Alyssa Pearson is the only one that got it. Well, congratulations. Big ups. Lead card escaping without too much damage here. Paige with the only bogey. One thing we haven't mentioned is there were a lot of backups today. I oh, think it was God. almost a five hour round. So a lot of waiting in the chilly conditions before having to throw shots like this. <laughs> Hole 11, par four, 605 feet. Very technical, either sidearm or flip up backhand that you kind of start on like a hyzer flip angle that then fades to the right and then maybe fades back to the left. <laughs> right here would be the perfect place to land. Uh, you can think about birdie, you know, you can think about it. <laughs> no, it's, it is there. No out of bounds. It's happened. Uh, 
common errors are ending too far in like that left wooded area and there are gaps to get out of there but they're difficult there's um, like a dummy fairway over there but yeah. it's not a real one no but you it definitely looks like it. want to error more to the right side than the left side uh sidearm shapes up great here Flyfactory.com is a new disc golf shop that opened up in my hometown, Pensacola, Florida, but they do have an awesome online store. Check it out. They've got a bunch of different types of molds available, fast shipping. Check it out, flightfactorydiscs.com. Hokum ending up on that left side, which is, it can be a little bit punishing. We'll see if she has anything down there. Ah, oh. Ooh, I can't. Oh, I would have loved to see that. Me too. End That's, up, I mean, she, it had to, the right move. It was just a little tight to the right side. Not a terrible place to land, though. It doesn't look like it's too deep in the woods, and she might be enough on the edge where she can get her second shot way down there. This was, I think, the biggest backup of the day. Oh, yeah, it was two cards. So. Uh, three cards, wasn't oh, it, at one point? Was it? I think so. Oof. 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 Katrina also finding that kind of early left side corner. And Very tough to save par from there. There was legitimately a backup on every hole. Yeah. And most of them were around 10 minutes or longer. So, I mean, really, the fact that these ladies are still ripping drives down wooded fairways and making it look um, like they can. <laughs> <laughs> Paige does get way down there and finds the ideal <laughs> landing zone. It's impressive because we, we it was chilly. How come I'm having to shape something real tricky Flexing this shot around the trees. And, yeah, finds the fairway. This Great play, scramble. This only played as the seventh most difficult hole of the day. That surprised me. There's so much trouble you can get in. But there is also a lot of room to work with. If It's a, it's a scrambler's paradise. Oh, here. that is a great description of this mm -hmm. hole. <laughs> 378 feet to the green. She's down on a knee. <laughs> yeah. That is not bad. No, that's solid. That's amazing. And yeah, she'll have a, she opens herself up with a little teeny fairway on the right side. I want them to make a sign that says Scrambler's Paradise and put it <laughs> on this hole because I love that. I'm going to do I'll make it. It sounds like it needs like a little song too. <laughs> I will not sing right now though. Haley, unfortunately, kicking right into the shul. It, it, it can be a little mean over there. There's a lot of small trees. Leave us a comment with your jingle for Scrambler's Paradise. <laughs> Page. Oh, yeah. Throwing that fierce <gasps> and hoping it to drift. Yes. Great shot. Catches a tree at the end, but she'll be inside the circle. One of the very few, I'm sure, inside the circle for Birdie today. Yes, there was actually, I believe, 7% of the field that got inside the circle for Birdie. That's probably three people, maybe four. Probably. Probably three. <laughs> Math. <laughs> Again. Haley's Haley. struggling a little bit to find the circle there. She'll have to make a long putt to save her par or wait is that her second shot mm, yeah I think mm. that was to save bogey One, two, three. we'll no, find out save par. together save par. yeah oh oh, oh. <laughs> bounces off that root and kind of flashes the basket excellent scramble from hokum and a very obedient disc yeah she's looking clean out here she hasn't had a single bogey yet knock on wood knock on wood <laughs> Katrina leaving it a little shorter than you want. Ooh, this is a tough look. An Anheuser putt, slightly downhill green. Gives it a little bit of a run, but definitely a conservative one. I believe that Come on. was. Ugh. That was for her like par, I believe. But for real, though. She's so close. So many times. Uh, Paige unable to convert for the birdie. There was one birdie today by Lisa Fakus. She's getting some tough ones today. Yeah, this one I'm sure would feel amazing. That was a nice bogey save by Haley. Kind of chundered her way up this fairway, but it works. <laughs> Scrambler's paradise. Nice par from Hokum. Solid as a rock. Squeaky clean. And uh, disappointing. Yeah. For Paige. No brainer par. That's great out here. Although we want to see some birdies. Yeah, come on, guys. <laughs>
Hole 12 is a downhill 365 foot par three. This one, you're licking your chops. You wanna get on the green here. Uh, you want to kind of hug the right side with a hyzer and very, very gently drift down to this fair to this green, hopefully getting over these rocks. There's a few roots here you can contend with as well that can stop your disc. We'll see Hokum do a sidearm turnover, but definitely the, I think the mid-range hyzer is the play here. You don't want to come in too fast or too early because there's a lot of little small stuff you can get tangled up in. There's also a big cliff if you go too far <laughs> past. Just want to come in soft like a whisper. <laughs> like the drizzling rain all day. <laughs> My God. <laughs> ASMR on hole 12. Yeah, I apologize. You're looking for it. Hogan leaves it a bit short, but she's center cut for her par. A little early That's release. Really not bad. No, it could definitely, fin if it finishes straight enough, oh yeah. Yeah, she gets way down there. It's a little tight, but good ground play. She'll have a chance for her birdie. Hugging that right side, like you mentioned. That looked like a beefcake of a disc. Yeah. Hmm. Hugged the right side, but Man, crashed in on the hyzer. She doesn't really have much over there, there's it looks like. There's nothing over there. Which is a bummer. Trusty M2, flipping up. A little higher Ooh. than, oh. No, it looks great. Yeah, it was. I thought it was higher, but, oh. Got, that huh. didn't quite drift enough, but it was really good, good speed. It almost had like a late flip. Thought it was gonna be too early. Nice little backhand approach from Sarah. She's getting so good at those. God. I think we say that every time, like, she's good at them. Yeah, we'll stop saying she's getting good. Yeah, she's just She good. is good now. She's got it dialed. She's good. She never messes them up. Oof, nice bid for Birdie from Paige. She wanted that. I feel like if you have enough force where your hat comes off, it should just go in. <laughs> 40% of the field finding circle two for birdie and only oh, 10 man. finding circle one for birdie. Look at all these little branches. <gasps> oh. Man, good effort from our lead car ladies, but looking like a star par here. There was five birdies on the day. Heather Young, Deanne Carey, Missy Gannon, Juliana Corver, and Ella Hansen. Heather made a big old putt for this one. <laughs> I felt like that's day too. I mean, you're just constantly tapping in. <laughs> like, yeah. So many tap ins. How many circle two putts can you miss in one round? <laughs> Let's count. Br Brewster Ridge will show you. <laughs> Hole 13, 545 feet, par four. You're trying to throw to this corner here. Uh, backhand or forehand, both good plays. If you push too straight, this left side over here is just garbage. The right side is slightly less garbage. <laughs> slightly less. <laughs> slightly less. And then you're trying to throw down this narrow tunnel on the right side here, that super dark one, the gaping one. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> over the bridge. It looks so daunting. I know, through the tunnel. Here we go. And it lights up to show you the way here. Uh, it's definitely birdieable, but very technical, demands two excellent shots. Yeah, the landing zones are very small. This place has the third most difficult hole on the day. You guys remember holes two and four playing as one, the first and second most difficult holes, and they were tough on our lead card. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think a forehand is probably the best play. <laughs> Hokum pulls hers a little wide, but she gets away with it. Backhand is just touchier. You can get way down there, but really easy to make the worst mistake with a backhand. That can get through the trees. Ooh, actually, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Sometimes those trees can be mean and kick you a little bit too far left, but that looks great. Sometimes you can sneak through that corner, though. Mm -hmm. But I think sidearm is definitely the best play for this hole if you've got it. Haley early. And now I don't know what happened. Yeah, it's it's not great over there. It pinches you off pretty, pretty good, and there's nothing deep, so you have to almost throw it. Like, pitch straight out. I'm considering this play for tomorrow. I, I think that's a either a putter or a mid-range and just pitching to the corner. Mm -hmm. She actually gets a good ways through the corner. <laughs> it's, a, it's a smart play because this birdie is almost impossible to get. So, like, it's better to just chip, chip, chip to the green instead of trying to, like, get this unrealistic birdie that most people are not going to be able to, like, get all the way down that dark hole fairway. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, hmm. Why well, you don't think it's gettable at all? I know it's hard, but it's it's not that like it's if not you get gettable. The good drive. I don't know. Just the the way the trees pinch as you get close to the basket, it makes it hard to get inside the circle to give yourself a gimme putt. I think you it's you gettable. can get a circle two putt. <laughs> totally, that is definitely there. That's what I'm there. talking about. Ooh, uh -oh. Paige with a little bit of a slip, a little early, and it's tough over there. She's gonna have a pretty sharp angle to get to the green. Maybe like an Anheuser forehand even. If you push deep on that side past the uh, entrance to the mouth of the tunnel, it's, there's nothing. It's so hard to get through these trees. There's one little sucker gap right there that looks great, but if you go farther than that, good luck. Yeah, Hogan might have to contend with that smaller gap. This looks like a great shot. Wow. Mm-hmm. Very nice. That was very, very nice. Getting all the way down that... Long dark tunnel. The Maw. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> New name. <laughs> Katrina kind of blowing past the basket and leaving herself a tester. <laughs> like 40 oh man, Paige a little bit deeper than I thought. Yeah, I, I didn't realize she had a forehand roller with a raptor, I think. I didn't realize she had uh, finished way left into those trees over there. That's brutal. Look, I'm kind of down in the mud here with a little touchy forehand. She's going to look up that little tiny gap Ooh. that we could see. Sucker gap for the win. Yes. Man, she has so much control. She should, I mean, even when she makes a mistake, she's still just capitalizing. Yeah, she's one of the best scramblers and the best at managing risk versus reward that we have out here. Yeah, even, even if she gets off of her game plan, she's able to recover pretty quickly and find herself a solid par, just like we just saw. There was no birdies on the day on this hole. I'm not surprised by that at all. 61% of the field with a bogey or worse. Ugh, ouch. Happens, yeah, it happens so quickly on this hole. It's another, it's another one of the ones that's similar to Maple Hill where you can just so easily spiral <laughs> trying to, to get back where you were, bite off just a little more, and all of a sudden gets worse quick leaderboard check in here we got heather young and sarah hokum under par Haley king and Paige hanging on here a few over katrina falling off the pace a little bit but still tied with Paige for fourth got a hot goose climbing up oh leaderboard. yeah and lisa fang is killing it at even par yeah she's been getting the birdies we've been seeing her name on some of the harder to get birdies um, it's evening out for her just fine. We'll move on to the shortest hole on the course, I believe, or one of the shortest. I think the shortest. It's 240 feet, but it is pretty steep uphill, so it plays longer than that. It's a pretty simple hyzer here for a right-hand, backhand player. You just want to miss all the trees and crash into the screen. Um, not a lot to it. There is a, a, a hill to the left side of the fairway and the green that can come into play if you hyzer out too strong. This one, if you're a right-hand, backhand player, you are kind of kicking yourself if you don't even give yourself a look. Mm -hmm. There's this one tree that you want to beat that definitely can get in your way. Um, not a gimme birdie for the sidearm by any means. Yeah, yeah, this is a tough one to even, if you're Sarah Hokum and a genius, this is still a tough one to get a sidearm yeah. to. She's going to be on that left side. Oof. Too low, too right, now too left. <laughs> Haley kind of finding a similar spot as Sarah, I think. See if Paige can correct the line here. Most people, I think, are going to go outside of that main tree in the middle. Um, there is an inside gap if you're feeling sneaky. Paige going really, really straight the whole way, but it finishes, it finishes just enough to get herself inside the circle. Looks pretty good. And is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Just to be circle's edge. Nice conservative play from Katrina throwing that mid-range. So if it does hit a tree, it doesn't go very far. Hokum, who is great at backhand approaches, <laughs> does another one, folks. Right under the pin. Haley looks like she has a little bit of a tougher lie. Yeah. She kicked way left. She goes sneaky forehand. Gives Almost her, does it. Gives herself a long bid. Maybe 40-ish. Yes. 
the most lackadaisical fist bump I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's see it one more time. <laughs> GK replay. That putting form is so awesome. So strong and confident. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even fully close the fist. <laughs> oh, Katrina, just outside, actually. Man. The force field continues. Just all over it, drawing mm -hmm. metal constantly. Paige with a nice birdie there. Heck yeah, definitely a death putt. Still looking super confident on the green, even with a few missed putts here and there recently. 22% of the field got birdies on this hole. That's awesome. One that everyone can reach with the backhand. Hole 15 is a really difficult par 3. You have to throw over this rock wall so you're teeing off from out of bounds. It's a relatively narrow gap. You can throw a putter, mid-range, a driver if you're feeling crazy. Uh, and then you have to kind of hug the right side before hyzering way to the left. If you make it across the wall, it's a relatively easy par, but if you don't, it's one of the har hardest drop zones that we play all year. There is out of bounds that kind of stays on the left and wraps around the basket at the end. I feel like this gap is terrifying. I think at least one person per card on average misses. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous. Yeah, filtering too straight into the trees, it does actually get a kind of difficult to get to the green from there. You want to bail out left. There's a perfect little line of sticky, like, fir-type trees that blocks uh, the basket if you land too far left and forces you to throw up and over. There's not really a way to get through. Um yeah, this is, this is just a really hard par three. You have to get so aggressive to get a look at this. Most people are just happy to, to get across. It's really not worth it to throw super hard and technical to get a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can get over the top of the hill that we can see straight ahead, just above that white sign, you, you're giving yourself a long look at a putt. And they're making this look easy. Oh, that looks like it was a little too hysery. Definitely came in too early. They're like, look at that. There's just nothing yeah. over there. Yeah, Haley's in bounds, but there's that little group of trees there that protect the basket really thoroughly. This also, this tied is the third most difficult hole of the day. This par three. Averaged at almost a full stroke over par. <laughs> Katrina getting a bunch of kicks, but she ends up pretty good. And luckily, we won't have to see that very tough drop zone. So you can see where our lead card ladies, these are the best ladies in the world, are landing. I mean, it's no surprise that three people found circle two for a birdie on in this hole. Like, it's so hard to get through that gap aggressively and get down to the green. Like Erica said, pitching across the wall, it feels a lot better, a lot safer. Oof. Haley and Paige finding difficulty getting to the pin for their par. Holcomb's in the middle and hopefully has an easy time pitching up here. Keep the clean streak alive. Hasn't had a bogey yet this round. Perfect. Such a nice soft landing. This green's a little bit sloped as well. Can definitely get a little speedy. Katrina, I don't know, maybe uh, looking to give it a run there? Yeah, soft bed. Super close for her stress-free par. No birdies on the day today. That's not surprising. Even in perfect conditions, this one's rough. Haley, looking like she's giving it a run and fades out a little bit to the left of the pin. Has a little bit more than a, than a 20 footer coming back. Page for a par save. Oof. Launches it. She'll have to earn her bogey a little bit as well. I know we take you to stats with a grain of salt, but it says that only 7% of the field found the fairway. On this hole? I mean... Seems, uh, it's a lot of off-fairway area, but that's yeah. definitely some tight stat keeping. 
It's got to keep it tight out you here. You got to keep it tight. But it is hard to find that fairway. It really is to get through that gap and to find yourself in the middle is tough. You'll see a lot of people finishing straight. We didn't see that as much on this lead card, but you find a lot of people straight in those trees to the right of the screen. Looking like two birdies, two bogeys here. Honestly, not that bad of an mm -hmm. average on this hole. 60% of the field with a bogey. So, Yeah, if you have to go from that drop zone, it's difficult to even save your bogey. Mm -hmm. Hole 16 is a steep downhill 365-foot hole. I mean, it is it is straight down. The out-of-bounds runs all the way down the left-hand side where that rock wall is, and that comes into play at any moment if you kick a tree and go out-of-bounds uh, or kick left or if you turn your disc over you want to throw a mid um, that flips over i think that's the perfect play for a right hand backhand player but a sidearm is definitely i think the safest play yeah the sidearm is gonna potentially kick the right way mm -hmm. if uh if you're like pull it a little bit too much uh, whereas the backhand often kicks towards out of bounds um that wasn't the right way <laughs> this is the most trouble i think we're gonna see hokum in mm -hmm. this round this whole, um, once you get through this initial gap and hopefully get, no, no, no. It, oh, hopefully yep. get it past that tree, it's still kind of a poke and hope. Like you're, yeah, you can definitely filter down there to get a pup, but there's not like a particular gap after you get down the hill that you're like, oh yeah, I'm going for that oh, line. Yeah. Like at least not good enough of a gap that you can be like on the T pad, like I got this. Yeah. There, like, that obviously is, that's the gap, but mm -hmm. I mean. <laughs> it's like six feet wide. By, yeah, by the time you get all the way down there, you're like, I don't care what happens anymore. <laughs> I, I didn't go out of bounds on the wall. <laughs> Yay. Haley's showing us the forehand and getting into circle two. Yeah, she finds the mouth of that gap, and that's about as good as it gets if you do catch those trees. Katrina getting caught up, and we'll have to make a pretty long putt for her bogey. God, look how dense this is. I hit it. <laughs> she hit the gap? Is that what she means? I, I, oh, no. <laughs> hit the tree. <laughs> oh, man. Now I'm having to go forehand roller. That looks good, though. It does look good. Wow. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Hey. Is there, there is out of bounds. No, it, there's, the out of bounds does not wrap around deep. It just hugs the left hand side the whole way. But um, you can go forever deep if you want. Ooh. Paige not really satisfied with that effort there. Leaves like, yourself short. You can see even with Paige getting down there, there's just not a lot of gaps. It's very poke and hope. It's very dense with trees all around this very guarded green. Haley going to take an easy par. Katrina for the double. Another hole that can quickly spiral out of control. Paige making a really nice putt for her par save. Also another hole where the green is just sloped enough where a roll away could happen at any moment. So you want to be pretty careful on the green. Mm. First blemish on the scorecard we've seen from Hokum. Mm -hmm. That'll be a double as well. There were five birdies on the day. Heather Young, Vanessa Van Dyken, Cynthia Ricciotti, Alex Benson, and Leah Sinajeni. Oof, that's a good two. Love that two. Yeah. Heather had another big putt. Playing super clean today. Ouch. All right. Let's get off <laughs> this hole. It seems so straightforward and it's so not. Here's a much easier one. Is it though? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. It's that was not. sarcasm. It's not. Uh, hole 17. This tee shot is so hard. Is a par 4, 535. You're trying to go really straight and land right at the corner here and then another relatively straight shot with a little bit of fade at the end into these wood chips uh no out of bounds anywhere just normal tree jail <laughs> um if you hit early either left or right it is so difficult the tee shot is just absolutely paramount maybe more than even the other holes that we've seen <laughs> and it's think, also really hard i think to get around this corner it's just around 280 to 300 feet probably three yeah. yeah it's it's a long one um down a very tight and low ceiling fairway it feels like you really have to put some juice on it to get around the corner but you don't want to barely cut the corner like we see Haley yeah. do yeah it's that it's more straight than than you think you yep. know 
As Erica says, that is garbage over there. That is garbage. <laughs> I think Paige kind of snuck through the corner a little bit. Hokum also finding some garbage. <laughs> yeah, this this is one of the tea pads that I think we could afford to maybe have a shorter one, but since I don't it's know, only I, 535, it's, I like it. Yeah. It's hard, but... Hard but fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Katrina with a good kick. It's like something just like kind of chucked it out from down there. (laughs) Yeah. The nice thing is if you do get around the corner, the upshot isn't quite as hard as some of the other more difficult par fours. So, you know, you still need a good shot, obviously, like Paige just through here, but it's a pretty simple hyzer that everybody should have. That was a great second shot from Paige. Nice and straight. Filters through the corner of that little guardian line of trees. Or to the green. Katrina a little earlier hitting the Guardians. Where is Sarah? I know. She's down on the left. Oh, um, I didn't realize it was so deep down throw, there. Yeah. Throwing a tomahawk, I think. She'll still be able to save a par from there. Haley also way down here. Still up <laughs> for a full And just launches it. She's 255 from the pin. I think if she had hit her line, it would have gone six miles past. <laughs> And Hokum. On the green. Yeah, back to her kind of normal style of just parring even when she finds trouble. Haley kind of in no man's land. She's on the right side of the fairway now, put straight across, but looks like she found a gap to get to the green. Oh, look at this little window. Hmm. Low ceiling. That's a smart play here, just a little soft bid. Paige with a solid birdie. She's had a decent back nine, mm-hmm. generally. A couple, couple she, bad holes, but everybody's going to have those. She's one of only five birdies on this hole. If you can see a common theme um, at Brewster Ridge today, birdies are not the common theme. <laughs> <laughs> There's just not a lot of them out here. They're really hard to find. This is one of those courses where par is awesome, and you really have to work for a par. Hole 18 is one of the easier holes on the course. Nice little finishing hole, 345 feet, slightly uphill. You just want to throw straight um, and get ideally around this bush in the middle. That's the guardian bush. (laughs) You don't want to flip your disc over or go too far to the left because there's just nothing over there to work with. You want to just keep it low, keep it straight in the middle. You kind of want to aim right at it and then flip around it to the Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hyzer flip is a great shot here. Hyzer flip to flat. Paige just lacing it through the left side and gets inside the circle. Haley, we've kind of seen this all day, just pulling them a little bit. That left side can be tough, but there's also a gap that she can likely get up and down to save her par. You just have to think a little harder over there. Hokum kind of bailing out to the right side, and that's a smart play. Yeah, just a little bit more turning. It was a, a good line. It was a smash. Yeah. Katrina fading a little too early. Probably in circle two, though. There's not a lot of putting options once you get over there. There's a lot of trees, and they're perfectly spaced apart to just remove all hope. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, hope is lost. <laughs> For Haley, she might have a gap, but they're small. She's playing the old zigzag up the fairway game. Army golf? Yeah. (laughs) I don't like army golf. No? Left, right, left, right? (laughs) Oh, my God. I've never heard that. No? Oh, it's a classic. Genius. Oh, she has a look for a putt, though. Catches some metal, but doesn't quite get it into the bottom of the cage. Page for a birdie? Hmm. Even though this one is right in front of you, it's hard to get three six. I mean, three forty five. It's still a long hole. Only one birdie on the day today by oh, wow. Natalie Ryan. Congratulations! She went to crush down, but still made a circle two putt to get that two. I got to watch her on my card. Yeah, that guardian bush, as you call it, uh, <laughs> is really perfectly placed to just block the kind of easy shot to the green. Makes you shape something. Katrina ready to get off the course. That was a lot of uh, metal hits today, and that'll drive anyone insane. I mean, that's it's just so know, hard to deal with counted. when you're that close. Wow, look at this. Hokum even. 
<laughs> That's all that needs to be said. Oh man, so clean. A lot of gray, a lot of pars. Everybody else finding trouble. Paige kind of birdie bogey golf. Um, Haley not finding any birdies today. But uh, and Katrina either. Minimizing the bogey strokes. Honestly, I mean, no three doubles. to four isn't that bad. No. Like, I, obviously, they're not happy with it, but yeah. I mean. But Paige, no doubles is fine. Yeah, Paige and uh, Haley stay on the leaderboard. Uh, or sorry, lead card with those rounds. Katrina drops off to chase card there. Um, hot round today. Lisa Fakus, even par, moves up to fifth. And that's, uh, that's the story of Brewster Ridge. Hopefully we will see better conditions in the final round when we get to revisit this course for a second time. In the meantime, we'll go back out to the open OB-laden fairways of Fox Run. Thank you guys for hanging out with us at Brewster Ridge, even in these gnarly conditions. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're your two hot geese. Honk.